I think the one thing that a lot of autistic people uh, very quickly figure out, maybe even when they're still kids, uh, is that clarifying questions are not okay. Um, if we're asked to do something or asked to achieve something or, you know, complete a task, uh, autistic people will very often want a bit more information. You know, we like we like to have the context, I think, as a, as a, generally speaking, as a group. You know, we, we, we like to have as much information as we possibly can because I guess we're worried about getting things wrong because we so often do because of the communication mistranslations and things. So... Um, but the thing is, our attempts to to avoid that, you know, by asking a few extra questions, can often like, infuriate the people that that have set us the tasks. You know, and we're we're accused of being pedantic or or too needy or or something. You know, it's it's taken incredibly negatively, um, which of course means that we. I, I mean, I, for example, I just kind of give up. Then in that case, I just give up and um, just try and figure it out myself, and just desperately hope I don't get it wrong. But that, of course, adds to that constant low level or you know, high level anxiety that's always there in the background you know if you're always worried that these things you've done ah you've done them wrong but you only did them wrong because you couldn't ask a clarifying question because when you did that in the past people got really angry with you and told you off and told you you were a bad person it's just a horrible horrible feedback loop so let autistic people ask clarifying questions that'd be lovely thank you